Hello all, Tech Jax here. This is a continuation of our EIGRP series. We're learning EIGRP. We're doing some basic configurations. We're learning how things work. We're just, you know, just getting used to it and seeing how um, and what we can do with it. Um, so here on Route 1 again, um, as you can see, we have uh, our summarized route for our loopback addresses coming through serial uh, 00. We just set up that as a manual summarization in the previous video. And that's coming uh, to us via Router 2. Uh, but all of our uh, regular loopback interfaces that we're learning via Fast Ethernet 00, and this uh, Ethernet segment here, uh, we have a full uh, RIB of those routes. Now, let's say, for instance, that um, the certain routes or certain advertisements you didn't want um, in Router 1. Router 1 wasn't supposed to have access to them. Maybe there's departments off over here that's not supposed to be able to get to 10.0.2.0 or 10.0.4.0 and things like that. Um, there are, are, are certain ways you can set it up so that you can filter those out. Uh, but one way in particular you can filter it out is using a, a route map with an ACL uh, to match uh, what criteria you want and set it as a distribution list or a distribute list. So let's go ahead and set that up really fast. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and create an access list. And again, we're going to do a standard one. So we're going to number it four and let's do a permit here. And we're going to do 0.0.1.0 and 255.255.254.255. And the reason we have this set up is because we want to have at least one bit in the third subnet uh, active, and that's going to allow us to have odd, um, uh, odd numbered subnets uh, show up in our routing database. The evens will be filtered out because we're going to have this one bit, and we set the third octet to have the one bit there. So this is going to allow us to um, uh, filter out all those routes in one go. Uh, let's go ahead and create our route map now. And we're going to name this filter. And what we're going to do is uh, make this a permit. And uh, route maps like ACLs and all those things, they have a, um, what do you call it, a, 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 a deny statement at the end uh, if you don't um, set a permit or anything like that. So um, once we permit this, um, anything else that doesn't match the criteria will be filtered out. Uh, so let's go ahead and just set that to 10 in case we make any additions to this later on. And let's do a match IP address. And if you do a question mark here, you get to see what you get to match. You can match an IP prefix if you set one up. Uh, if you set up an access list, then we're going to go ahead and match that. So we're going to go ahead and put a 4 here. We're going to match IP address 4. Uh, we're going to match IP address 4, which is the access list. It's not like a 4, uh, but it's the access list that was numbered 4. And we can go ahead and hit enter, and we're going to do a set tag. Uh, you can also do sets here, and this allows you to do a little bit more with route maps. We're going to do this in other videos, especially with the BGPs. Uh, you can set the community dampening and things like that, the local preference, metric, metric types, origins, tags. Uh, we're going to set a tag in case uh, we wanted to monitor these routes or be able to have access uh, to uh, this distribution list and what happened um, before. So we're going to set a tag of 88. We're going to go ahead and hit N. Let's do show IP route again. And as you can see, we have all the routes 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10. That was there. And let's go ahead and go into our routing protocol here, ERGRP2. And this is where we're going to go ahead and configure our distribution list. We can go ahead and do a distribute uh, list for uh, our route map. And our route map was filter. Um, it's going to be on the incoming uh, fast Ethernet zero zero. So basically, here we're going to apply that we're going to apply that access list uh, via this route map to filter out all those even numbered subnets as they enter into fast Ethernet zero zero. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Go ahead and, do it. and here's our route map. Here's our show access list. It's starting to match standard IP access list four. It already has five matches. Our adjacency had to refresh again because we made a change that was significant uh, to our adjacency. And we can do a show IP route. 
And as you can see, we're now we no longer have our even numbered submets anymore. Uh, we have 10.0.1, 10.0.3, uh, uh, 10.0.5, and 7 and 9, but no even number ones. Uh, so um, you can use the distribute, uh, distribute list to uh, match um, an ACL or an IP prefix list in order to start to filter routes, routes uh, from uh, being received by certain routers. Uh, you can also do things with router maps that we're going to, like I said, we're going to see those in other videos. But that was a quick demonstration on how to create a quick uh, route map to make sure that um, the routes that you want to be displayed in your route um, information database um, are the ones that uh, you, you choose. And you can use an ACL to filter odd number ones or even number ones or um, things like that. So really quick, let's look at our ERG topology. And as you can see, we don't have any routes for those even numbered uh, addresses anymore. And we also have a tag that was been that has been set. So these routes are tagged as 88 because that's what we set in our route map as well. So um, if we needed to reach those IP addresses, we still would be able to now because we have that manual summarization here. Um, and that was part of the previous video, so we still would have access to it, but um, in the likelihood that you were trying to block the even number ones, then <coughs> that probably wouldn't be there. So there's no hassle there. We're just doing this on the go. We're just setting up scenarios real quick so we can um, show them to you guys. So uh, hopefully this has been uh, helpful for you guys. Uh, this is how to filter out those uh, I, um, even number subnets. And um, see you guys soon.